uh, we are continuing with the video at 8.44 p.m. Uh, on the second part of the um, writ warrant or the um, apostoly um, control and possession document that I'm reading out, 44 pages, uh, a link to the first uh, video uh, on notice to the uh, New Zealand government, Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern, the uh, Attorney General Chris Robinson, the Deputy Prime Minister um, Winston Peters, the uh, Chief Justice of the Supreme Court Sean Elias, and the um, Governor General Patsy Reddy, um, and um, uh, John Martin, uh, the New Zealand Navy. Uh, and their Queen Elizabeth II coming to New Zealand soon, this month, and with her, the other two um, fraudsters, Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton coming to New Zealand, uh, and we'll have all these crooks in one place at the same time. I'm asking you people of New Zealand, what shall I do with them? Because I'm holding the title to New Zealand over the Queen. There's no seal here, no authority here. No uh, Westminster Parliament seal. She's by herself in the EU Parliament. She's abandoned Westminster Parliament and our flag that's here. This Declaration of War flag, 1834 King William IV flag, is a private contract between Te Rewaikato Wharehere Manukau and Rewhere for Manukau and King William III, King William IV and King George IV title holders and Crown land patents to New Zealand country. And I'm um, holding them to against these threats of TPPA uh, coming to New Zealand to sign agreements without title. I'm giving them notice till Tuesday, 4 o'clock, on the 7th of March 2018 to refute what I'm saying in these 44-page documents to be apostolized. You get to see them first in public. This is a trial by media on Facebook and YouTube, Twitter, Google and all the other websites that are copying all my material as fact-cited evidence and admissible in the High Court of Admiralty and most courts as admissible evidence to this case against the New Zealand corrupted government and justice system. They lost their case against me on Cook Street, 77 Cook Street. Auckland property, James Pierce Brown and Sam Brent Roundtree, we are seizing their property with my lawyer and private investigator Graham Mallet on this notice and it's pre-determination of apostolising to Britain, uh, British Foreign Affairs and the New Zealand Internal Affairs as fact-cited evidence of our title to this country that no one has got title to put up against it. If they're silent, all silent and ignorant of our title, then this becomes the law. They have only 24 hours to refute this claim from today and tomorrow and Tuesday. That's all the time they're ever going to get because they've never refuted any of my documents. This is the last straw for them and no more after that. It's there liability of this notice to Jacinda Ardern and the Queen and the Rothschild Banks that you are now 970 million trillion trillion pound note in debt as judgment debtors against the Maui Crown Federal State Government of the World judgment creditors with this 1834 King William IV flag of Britain, UK and King William IV, King William III, King George IV, and now their successor, inheritor, King Ernest Augustus V, reigning monarch of Britain, UK, Hanover, Australia, New Zealand, Pacific Islands, and the Commonwealth countries of the world, and 250 countries under our 1834 Admiralty private contract trading bank commercial flag business as commercial landowners of New Zealand and Pacific Islands. Okay. 
So I'm just ending this um, notice to the Prime Minister that was dated on Thursday the 3rd, the 1st of March 2018 and I'll date it to Sunday. Sunday. Fourth. That's today. Right now, on this video. Fourth, March 2018. I'm, I'm emailing it to Jacinda Dern tonight, before midnight. Okay? So it ends on me, on these citations that I've written. Hawani Kahaki Wanoa John. My Crown Sheriff Private Investigator of Fraud Whakapapa Titles, dated Sunday the 4th of March 2018. <clears throat> the documents there with this um, this whole 44 page in PDF, I'm sending it to these people, I'm sending it to these people, Jacinda Dern, Prime Minister of New Zealand, Winston Peters, Deputy Prime Minister, Nader Glavish, Nati Fatua, Director, Sean Elias, Chief Justice of the Supreme Court of New Zealand, Patsy Reedy, Governor General of New Zealand, Chris Ferguson, Attorney General of New Zealand, John Martin, Chief of the New Zealand Navy, Queen Elizabeth II, Queen of EU Parliament, Brussels, Abandoned Britain, UK, not a Queen of Britain anymore, she can't abstain, she can't abdicate to any of her family as being abandoned ship of Admiralty of these three kings I'm talking about and gone into EU Parliament as a conflict of interest and a threat to Britain, UK and us here in New Zealand, our partners, the British, British and Brexit. 11 countries TPPA, all those countries are liable. 970 million trillion trillion pound notes is on your head before the 8th of March 2018. You're signing in Taiwan the TPPA agreement or the progressive something rather, uh, TPPA, progressive TPPA. Um, 11, 11 countries, you better leave New Zealand right out of it. Leave New Zealand off the TPPA. I'm warning you, people, I am the commercial landowner of New Zealand. If anybody's got a title, you better put it in front of me before Tuesday, 4 o'clock. If you haven't got one, you never did have one from Britain, UK. Now these ones here, the notice is going to our partner, Sir Philip Jones of the British Royal Navy. It's our legal partner, legitimate partner, and Theresa May, the Prime Minister of Britain, UK, DUP party, Arlene Foster, first um, Irish, first Prime Minister of uh, Northern Ireland, uh, Belfast, Protestant Church, that's my partner in the Westminster Parliament with my St. Patrick's eight point star from there, he's buried there. And with my Rogan judge's family from there in New Zealand here, and my Cosgrove lawyer's family from there, and the Patrick family from there are my Kurvans there, and the Moai statue standing in London. That's my native Tahitian royal Wanoa family. Okay, and the Moai statue and this rock title in Arapuri. Punga Punga, Marae, Moriori, Te Rewaikato, Wharehere, Manukau, Native Land Title with King George IV, Private Contract. The memorial is the rock next to the Marae and my father-in-law Peter Mihinui's house, right next to the rock. Okay, so that's that. And Nigel Farage and Ernest Augustus. The reigning monarch and our oath of office to him. Okay, so that's that. And now I'll just continue on with this video to finish this off. Ngati Fatua Iwi Runanga invented a Maori Pakeha woman, Whakapapa, to 
of Tira Waikato, Whare Here Here Manukau, male bloodline, paramount, Tira Waikato, as a woman, is fraud. Tainui Iwi, Ngāti Whātua Iwi, Te Arawa Iwi, Ngāpui Iwi, Ngāti Prau Iwi, corrupted the name, surname, of stolen identity, whakapapa, of manufactured lines, non-existent whakapapa chiefs, Te Rau Waikato, Whare Here Here Manukau, Paramount Chief as a woman, Whakapapa, under Te Rau Waikato, woman, equals mahanga, male, male husband. I state here is the wife of Ripiro, male, male, second husband, corrupted Whakapapa title. That is highlighted in this fraud fact-sided evidence heard in Te Ingwaka Marae, Native Magistrate Court hearing case in Epsom, Auckland, New Zealand, on the 11th of November 2018 against ex-Prime Minister John Key and his Ngāti Whātua Iwi Māori Crown Pākehā tribe, now liable for the serious criminal offences and degradation of our Paramount Chiefs Māori Crown, Moriori, Te Rawaikato, Wharehere and Manukau, male Whakapapa, and Hori Tikuri, male Whakapapa, with British King William the third King William the fourth, King George the fourth, British three kings, three emperors titles, and three chiefs contract titles. So there's the Whakapapa of Nati Rongo. These are all split out from this woman, Te Rawaikato. All of the Whakapapa of Te Runanga or Ngati Whātua is cited here as criminal fraud, Maori, grand theft of identity, Whakapapa over the years backdated to 1830 King George the fourth, 18. 1820. 1820. To 1830. King George IV, start of offences captured here, exposed for the very first time, issue of the property control and possession recovery of land assets and forfeiture of corrupted fraud business bank transfer land transactions starting with Cook Street so many mistakes it's Cook Street Auckland property seizure and East Coast oh, I've, I've corrected all these East Coast Lotton Point East Cape land seizure notified defaulted private contract lands forfeited to my crown and there's the rest of the Whakapapa. All these iwi Maori crown fake Tira Waikato female Whakapapa genealogy has been created illegally without proof of claim title defrauded the public of New Zealand taxpayers. Te Rorua Iwi tribe is a Maori crown corporate company invented by the New Zealand crown for its own patent private company with these corporate names Maori and Iwi are considered threats on our national security financial investment interests with TPPA 11 states their target aim claim to control New Zealand and Pacific region under these fake corrupted Maori land court title, court crown corporate fraudulent created land titles to steal our natural resources are now facing the British Crown King William IV, Admiralty Court Martial Law, King's Flag Sheriffs and Judges Private Contract Commercial Landowners, Landlords Financial Investment Interests as Judgment Credit, to holding the undisputed unrefuted title to New Zealand country. Maui Crown King William IV Trust, Maui Moriori Manukau Trust, and Maui Crown Private Corporation Biz Business, British Crown Companies, National Security and Financial Investment, Commercial Trading Bank, Private Contract Land and Development Interests. Ah, this thing is no good, this word. Te Waikato down there. Some more cited crown granted back to Maori the declaration to inalienable eligible land grant for the reserves issued in the names of Mihaka, Makaore, Makuare, Aramakaraka, and Teopira Kinaki, who obviously were trustees of communal property rather than absolute owners. They weren't owners at all under the British title. Cited that trusteeship can only be regarded as being as variance with the land court's view of Teopura only having an individual beneficial interest in land. Cited the trusteeship also was inconsistent. They said were inconsistent with succession orders, succession orders to the two of the trustees, i.e. Teopura and A.K. Hotutu, made in 1892. Cited rather than making 
succession orders in absence of any investigation into relative benefits of 122 ownership of land by which effectively were destroyed the tribal, uh, tribal trusts pursuant to its prote protective duty towards Maori. The court clearly should have appointed new trustees, 193. Cited sections 551, Poto Block, Hefano, Lili, a family in dispute, 511, introductions, although it is undoubtedly now is the case that mana of Poto rests with Te Uriaho alone. Much of this title history of the land is confused. It is confused suggesting ancestral claims by a number of differing ancient possessors. That's all bullshit. Cited Paidama, Nahatua Ngutahi, for instance, claimed Ha Block in 1871 from Tupuna Pukau Fati, while A.K. Hotutu and Paidama claimed the pilot station block in 1873 under Homai rather than Haki Puta Tomuri. Four years later, Paidama, on behalf of Te Ho, preferred a claim to Poto three block without naming his tipuna. Without naming his tipuna. Cited the following day again, on behalf of Te Ho, Paidama preferred a claim to Ripiro, there's that Ripiro, or Poto two block, of 51,500 acres. They're using these tipunas with this Waikato name, the fraudulent scam. In the absence of objections, objections, a memorial of title issued to 18 individual fizz. Parama Natuhi, Hone Waiti, Arama Karaka, Hotutu, Netana, Ka Riera, Tiopira, Kinaki, Mihaka, Makaore, Tehemara, Tauhia, Paora, Tuhare, Hemana, Fiti, Rehana, Kena, Enere, Rafidi, Rafidi, Paraune, Naweke, Manihira, Makaore, Makuare, Pipiripi, Iham Maira, Hema, Hemi, Parata, Iramiha, Paika, Paikia, Kira, Kirepe, and Ere Tara, Tarahu. Notably, 13 of those individuals were identical with the 13 out of 17 Rangatera descendants of Ho Moe Wairangi, admitted into the title of Aoroa block on 96. The Aoroa Rangatera also were represented for differing tribes. Cited, there seems to be little doubt Parama's Whakapapa from Pako Fati was manufactured. There's a word manufactured. It's bullshit. For the purpose of excluding Ngati Fatu interest through Poko, Poko, Fiti Tera, and Tomutu from the memorial of ownership as later alleged by. H. W. Toka, but at the investigation, Haki was not set up because Pairama was afraid of Ngati Fatua, so Pako Fati was set up 19198. End of Darunanga or Ngati Fatua Papa Crown Corporation's Grand Treason. That's the end of that. That was me citing the Treaty of Waitangi's claims that Ngati Fatua Pakeha surnames in Mahari, Boji. Bullshit, Whakapapa, out of Tira Waikato, formed all this cheating title to get land and money from their own selves, the Maori government in Wellington, using the same acts as their corporate Maori companies that were doomed to failure. The British Royal Navy is our three paramount chiefs, commercial trading bank, magistrate court two-party private contract business military protectorate partnership. Iwi Maori Crown is a third party to a two-party three kings, emperors, three paramount chiefs, private contract business. Cited. Take notice. In the absence of the Manukau and Parapara Morioli names, surnames, Whakapapa, that I claim here in the Wānoa equals Rogan, Manukau, woman equals Rogan, Whakapapa, Bloodlines missing in these Pakia Iwi Maori Crown Corporation's manufactured Whakapapa stolen identity. Traditional Hapu male line dominant history of the original indigenous true ancestral cited uh, as connection to paramount chiefs and their native lands is criminal fraud tampering of titles created by the King's Empress British Crown Land Patent 
corporate partnership with these three paramount chiefs, Te Rawakato, Wharehere and Managau, Moriori, Punga Punga Marae, First Nations, Chief of Arakuni, who sold his Moriori New Zealand country lands to King George IV in 1823. Cited. Succeeded by his descendant, the Refere of Manukau, living on his Manukau Marae in Waiuku, on his Uatawa Pukekohe land he sold to King William IV in 1862, through British cited Crown Land agent Ron John Rogan on his Manukau Awaroa Native Magistrate Court Awaroa Bank, court land of Awaroa Hapu in Helensville, Kaipara Cited Manukau Ten Acre Moriori Land Block in Rata Street, Helensville, Kaipara Harbour. This formed the New Zealand provincial title, provincial title land which I am claiming back under British King's Imperial title deed, Maui Crown Moriori trustee discovered title, land over New Zealand and Pacific Islands. Cited. The third paramount chief is Hori Tikuri of his Tahiki Marae Native Magistrate Court and his direct bloodline descendant Morris Lowe Baker, Tahiki District deed title holder claimant versus the crooked snake Chris Fennison. Settling Maui Iwi Crown, Treaty Waitangi claims for 1%. Cited. Chris Finlayson, New Zealand Queen, Elizabeth II Crown, New South Wales, Queen Victoria Crown, Corporate Fraudsters, Defaulted Contract, Judgment Debtors to Maui Crown, King William IV Trust, Judgment Creditors. Cited. Ngāti Whātua Tribe is an invention of the Runanga Maori Parliament Iwi Crown Corporations for special purposes of defrauding the Paramount Chiefs and Tribes of New Zealand and the Pacific Islands for their own New Zealand Queen Elizabeth II Church and State Rothschild Bank Financial Investment Bank interests to manipulate native titles in other indigenous countries, states, wealth through these Moriori Manukau native land titles, Whakapapa Memorial Stone Rock Instruments of a King George IV Crown Land Patent Blueprint Bank Land Loan Land Mortgage Instrument, a Blueprint King William IV Crown Land Patent Title Transfer Title from Te Rewaikato Wharehe in Manukau to Referef Manukau by King William IV, 1834 Declaration of War, Bank Trade Flag. Cited. These are our Maui Crown Federal Flag State Government of the World Commonwealth British Empress King William III, King George IV and King William IV under the Three Kings, 1834 Declaration of State of Emergency Commercial Trading Bank, Judgment Creditors Flag Debtors Inst Judgment Third Party Law Recovery. Maui Crown King William IV Trust Corporate Authority. Cited. Using the Acts of Westminster between 1690 King William III and 1862 King William IV First Party and Referee of Monaco through Queen Victoria, Queen Elizabeth II New South Wales Crown Third Party Private Contract Foreign Interests Threats Against Our Landowners' Interests. Cited. The Blueprint Whakapapa of the Four Main Tribes of Whakameninga Confederation of Chiefs of Tribes of Aotearoa New Zealand Manufactured, invented, fabricated for the Whakapapa interests of Ngāti Whātua Iwi Māori Crown State Corporation's commercial and private contract financial investment bank land legal instrument interests used over a time period. Chiefs back to 1820 King George IV and Paramount Chief Te Rewaikato Wharehere in Manukau Whakapapa set out here by myself and author and executor for the Māori Crown Moriori Manukau Trust. For this Manukau Rogan Wānoa Whakapapa, designed for this corrupted fraud, corporate Iwi Māori Crown Ngāti Whātua Pākehā Pirate Tribe, invented in the 1800s to 1940, contemporary period of time, affecting all the native memorials to indigenous lands in the world under these three kings, exclusively claimed under these three paramount chiefs, British-born record land deed CT titles. Cited, we now un unite all Indigenous native titles in 250 countries affected by our Chiefs Land Memorials and Commercial Land Ownership titles, legal titles, to the native landowners portion of the King's Royal Revenue and Prize Possessions as their successors and assigns holding the true King title deeds in force into law as a consequence of a no response counterclaim against our absolute claims to the King's wealth and inheritance of their King's Crown Land Patent Memorials joined in a private contract two-party partnership business. We now call up the Crown Judgment Debtors silent admission of guilty plea defaulted private contract accounts of 900 million, 970 million trillion trillion Great Britain pound note gold bullion seized property assets. That's the 970 million trillion trillion pound note right here over all 
the Queen and the Church and State and all her affiliated Crown corporate membership right through the world from Westminster Parliament before she jumped ship and abandoned Westminster for EU Parliament in Brussels. She's doomed as man overboard. Ngāti Fato Iwi Māori Crown Government TPPA 2 Threat Against Britain UK Māori Crown 1834 Declaration of War DOW Faith. Take notice, Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern, your TPPA 2 contract is a threat on Maui, UK, New Zealand 1834 flag contract. Ngāti Iwi Māori Crown, New Zealand Government, TPPA 11, threat against the British, Britain, UK, Maui Crown 1834 DOW flag. These are just uh, videos, I'm going to put some more videos in, this one as well. New Zealand Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern, take notice, your TPPA 11 is a threat on Maui Crown King, King, King's UK New Zealand land patent title judgment creditor against you and your New South Wales New Zealand Crown corporations as criminal fraudsters judgment debtors with a power note bounty on your head. Published Thursday, 1st of March 2018, Chris Finiston, New Zealand Crown Queen, New Zealand Prime Minister Jacinda Dern, you and Queen Elizabeth II Crown and New South Wales interests. Intuition New Zealand, Intuition New Zealand, Waitangi, Waitangi National Trust, Queen Victoria Crown Corporate Criminal Fraudsters are legally locked in a defaulted private contract with the UK Crown Corporate British Emperor's Three Kings Two Party Partnership with the three Paramount Chiefs, Sheriffs, Native Magistrate Court Judgment Creditors against you, the alien invaders, private fraudsters, judgment debtors to the Maui Crown King William IV Trust. The Maui Moriori Manukau Trust, the Maui Powerhouse Bank, and the Maui Crown British Native Land Patent Title Judgment Creditors, commercial land owners of New Zealand country. This trillion pound note is a birth certificate. My birth certificate is worth one trillion pounds on every living soul in this world using or living under the Queen system of governments, parliaments, and her crown that's not even a coronation is fraudulent. The whole scam is one trillion pounds bond on your head, John Key, and one trillion on your head, James Pierce Brown, and one trillion pound note on your head, Simon Brent Roundtree, the owners of 77 Cook Street, or were the owners of, the illegal owners of 77 Cook Street. We're going to seize that property and this is a bond on your head, your birth certificate, I'm valuing in our currency over the bank notes of this country and the banks, the land underneath the banks has got a hold of 970 million trillion trillion pound note on every bit of land in this country and all the other 250 countries in the world that's covered by the 970 million trillion trillion pound note against all the elite people who are in the Rothschild banks and the Queen's Church and State Government forgery and thuggery as pirates on the high sea. So these are the two currencies, the water money currency for the whole world of the water in the sea and the power generators of Moe Powerhouse Group and their tidal turbines. Um, Moe Powerhouse, one trillion pound note, judgment debtor, bounty on the criminal fraudsters' heads. So this is a bounty on your birth certificate, you the person, and your company is the other against the 970 million trillion trillion pound note. All you corporate thugs have got that big pound note on your head plus this on each of your heads. Bounty, that's cash. Okay, that's an instrument on your heads from the British Royal Navy, Westminster Parliament, Brexit, and Maui Crown Federal State Government with the flag that's behind me. The Maui Crown Federal State Government's Three Kings Emperor's Flag Sovereign Authority Jurisdiction enforces the surrogate court legal authority model practice as federal court rules of evidence self-authenticating claims to speak for three absent kings and three chiefs as my own competent witness. That means I don't need lawyers. So these are all the rules that you can read on self-authenticating documents that comes under the flag on dry land and the ship of Admiralty of King William IV, British ship. 
The following items of evidence are self-authenticating. They require no intrinsic evidence of authenticity in order to be admitted. So we have all the evidence I've just told you. We don't need to go through any court. We have it all. If you haven't got it, you never did. We had it all the time. <clears throat> so we just need a seal purporting to be that of Britain and New Zealand, Pacific Islands, any state, district, Commonwealth territory or insular position of British, UK, former Panama Canal Zone, Trust, Territory or Pacific Islands, a political the subdivision of any of these entities or department, agency or officer entitled to name above. So that's, I'm going under these rules, the federal rules, because this is a federal flag and we are a federal state government, dual government with Westminster. The Queen has jumped overboard and abandoned the ship of Admiralty here in New Zealand. With her Maori people, she has abandoned this ship and gone to EU Parliament and nothing to do with it. Okay, so that leaves you people wide open for me to now put the asset on you in the bill. Foreign public card documents, so these are certified copies for public record. This, I'm just showing you what I'm doing with the lawyer. And the lawyer, I know what the lawyer is going to do. Rulings on evidence, we've got all the evidence here. The oath, I swear in front of him. And, and the personal knowledge, he doesn't know anything about all these things I just said. And I have to pay him to get my information into his head so he can put his seal on it. It's a defraud of all these acts in a corporate sense of federal state flag, that flag of a king, the surrogate courts act um, a surrogate of these three kings. Okay, I'm showing you my administration, my authority to use these, the revised statutes of the Auckland province, 1922-1920C, the province of Auckland came under these three kings. Council of Executive Administrator, I'm just saying I'm the Executive and the Administrator and the documents to fill out, to state I'm the surrogate. These are legal documents, surrogate register and clerks. Okay, so I'm telling the lawyer this is what I want to do and whatever it's going to cost, I'll get it back from the pound note. And Council of Executive, so these are all, there's our flag, right? On this document, approval accounts by judging, binding the court of the King's Bench. These are the King's Bench documents, legal documents of a federal state flag court, federal state and a ship of admiralty in an admiralty magistrate court. These are my coat of arms of Cosgrove and Rogan in Northern Ireland where the eight point star on this flag originates with St. Patrick in northeast southwest of the admiralty sea blue, sky blue and the black seal around the red cross of those three kings plus one more, King Ernest Augustus makes four. Okay, four kings there. The current king live, fresh and blood, is King Ernest Augustus IV. Now we come down to me and the flag here and the coat of arms of King William IV and this photo of King William IV here and his flag he gave us and the eight point star on my hat here and the coat of arms of um, <coughs> Britain and Hanover and his flag of Admiralty from the British Navy and Moai statue, this Moai standing in London. This is my title, that's my title, the flag, and that's my title, the coat of arms, straight into Westminster. And this is my chief authority on this Punga Punga Marae and Peter Mihinui, my father-in-law. This is his Marae and his ancestor. And I'm an executor for him and Peter Mihinui. These are all the laws I'm using and the bond of one trillion pound note on anyone's head is in this account. I'm calling out the counts of all these crooked people. There's one page, skipped it, uh, and I've taken it out and put it together. So these are the other acts uh, of uh, added to my documents. These are King's Acts. Affidavit, form of affidavit, I'm using video, YouTube is better than affidavit. The value of the ship um, and all its instruments and all its bill of laden, uh, manifest of cargo. Bill bond, yeah, all this bill bond fill out against anyone. The marshal's release or 
uh, for sheriffs, form of act protest, libel, and Hori Takuri here for he died in 1891. This is Morris Lobo or Low Baker. This is his tupuna here I've put at the end and his title, one of his ten titles here I've put here of Hori Takuri. I'm changing the title from Hedemai, the son of Hori Takuri, into Morris Low Baker. Okay, so this title is a deed and Native Land Act 1909. I'm changing that over and going into the Maryland Court in Whangarei on Thursday next week on the 9th of March 2018. Now this is Moira Hoffman Russell, my friend in Rotorua on Tiki Tere property that belongs to Te Rewakato Whare Here Here Manukau. That's his hot pools where he went and lived <coughs> and all his land there to Achimuri, down to um, Topo Pass Topo, up to uh, Mangakino, through Kihi Kihi, Arapuni, uh, Karapiro, Cambridge, Hamilton, Auckland, Kaipara, Hokianga, Pahia, Rafi. Violence. Those are all Refere of Manukau and Te Rewakato, Wharehere Manukau's land. The whole country and the South Island and Stewart Island and Chatham Islands. So this is Moira Hoffman's Russell, 1820 British Russell ancestors Whakapapa arrival in Rawane, Hokianga. That was the native magistrate court there with um, um, Horitikuri was a native British agent there with the native courts on that Rawane native court and his Taheke Marae is a native magistrate court I've opened it up as one of the 11 magistrate courts 12 magistrate courts altogether it'll be 13 magistrate courts when I get Punga Punga Marae in Arapuni next to the rock that Marae as the highest Marae in this country, title to Britain. The British title is that rock. Okay, so this is the Whakapapa of the Russell family and uh, Ngāpui chiefs um, Puhi, uh, Kupe and Rahiri is in her Whakapapa, I've got the book here, and she's given it to me to read and to take her whakapapa into account as a British direct descendant in a contract with us. Me and Morris Baker and her ancestors and Morris's ancestors are with my family at the East Coast as well. Okay? And on Peter Mihunui's land at Tikitere in Rotorua where Mora lives, that's my father-in-law's land. He has land in Tap. Tapapa and Okarari with the Marae and Tapapa at the beginning of the Hongi's track uh, or not Hongi's track in the, the glade I mean before Rotorua that's um, Peter Mehunui's area of Moriori Te Rewakato Wharehere in Manukau's title ok so the British came in for the logs to make trade with the chiefs, Huri Tikuri, in this time of 1820 to 1862, Native Land Act, made by Ref Ref Manukau, sale of land to Rogan in Awaro Native Magistrate Court in Helensville, Kaipara Harbour, 11th of November 1862. The Native Land Act was formed here for the rest of the Indigenous worlds from Edinburgh Magistrate Court, Britain. London, 1823, British Land Court. King George IV and Paramount Chief Te Rewaikato Whare Here Here Manukau set up the New Zealand private contract in Edinburgh, Scotland. Lieutenant William Simons, UK, Chief Hori Tikuri of Taheke Marae Native Court, Hokianga Harbour. This is all the arrows I put here and this writings. Chief Rev. Manukau Awaroa Marae Native Court, Helensville in Kaipara Harbour, Harbour South 
11th of November 1862, Captain James Reedy Clendon and Rogan to Manukau Marae in Waiuku. Chief Te Rewaikato Whareha Manukau Marae Native Court in Waiuku, Manukau Harbour, South Head, Direct to Mangatauteri Pa Marae, Native Court Direct to Rangitukia Marae, 1823, Native Court East Coast, 1831. Waini Kahaki Wānoa Marae Crown King William IV Trust, Surrogate King William III and King William IV, King George IV Title. Number 1, British Native Magistrate Court set up in Rawini, in Tahike in Hokia North Land, 1823. 2. Okiata Native Magistrate Court in Russell, Bristol, British, destroyed, shift to Aurora Native Court. 3. Aurora Marae Native Magistrate Court in Helensville, 1845, shift from Okiata Kororareka. 4. Rangitukia Marae Native Magistrate Court, 1831, first established St. Mary's Church birth certificate. So there's the connections here, Edinburgh here in England, London here, came for the logs in trade and commerce with Te Rawakato Wharehere here in Manukau to buy these logs and the British came to this flag, they bought the British flag on the ship of Admiralty and the Marae, Tahike Marae is that Marae in the Hokianga, this is a whakapapa picture style by the Russell family at that time, 1820 period, that Mora's family put this whakapapa together with Kupe and Puhi and Rahiri as her whakapapa. The correct whakapapa looks different to the Maori iwi Crown, New Zealand government, New South Wales government. It looks different. It's, it's fabricated, that one, against the one I got from Moira Hoffman. Russell, my friend, in Rotorua. Okay, so that's that. And there's Morris Low Baker in his Tahege Marae with me and my coat of arms. And authority, legal authority, opened this Marae up as a native magistrate court and there's nothing anyone can do about it on these lands. You only got occupation, paper title, ownership to the lands. They haven't got a money value in your titles. It's only in this British title and this flag and these eight point star of St. Patrick on my hat and north, east, south, west of the will in trade, commerce with those king, three kings and King Ernest Augustus on this live flag contract in private. So that's Morris doing his thing and this is our this is a coat of arms here from Britain and Hanover on this one and the Hanover sign on the other side, coat of arms and King William here on my shirt and the Moai seal here, here and my hat is on the table with the eight point star of the flag, this eight point star on the flag here on my hat and on my shirt there's an eight point star here Okay, of authority. John Key's wearing an eight-point star, the Queen's wearing an eight-point star, and all those crooked thugs in the Parliament here are wearing an eight-point star, and they've got no title to it. I'm holding all those titles. Now, these were the chiefs here in Te Umawaka Morai in Auckland. I'm saying this is a recognised native magistrate court, legal, and with our uh, um, uh, queer there, um, and it um, Hakarai, um has this marae open for me all the time when they're not using it for the Catholic Church then the generosity of the Catholic Church lets me have it for this for their titles and their claim to this country this is the seal of Maui standing in London that's the seal in the Maui and his water currency authority and legal authority to the King's Emperors of Britain, UK, Hanover and forbids women to succeed to the throne. That's why the Queen, Queen took off because she, she's got nothing to do with Britain legally on documents. Her documents are null and void now. And this is the seal of the three chiefs, the two chiefs, uh, Hongiheka and Te Waikato went to England with Bishop Kendall here and the flag. 
Okay, that's the seal of the two chiefs. Um, and this is Rafael Malikau's name here, title with Rogan selling Uatawa land in Pukekoe from Clevedon on the east coast right across the Bombay Hills onto the other side in Manukau Harbour at Waiuku and um, on the other side Pumunga, Pu, Pupunga Marae um, on, uh, at Cornwallis uh, on the other side of the harbour. All that area is in this title as well of a legal private contract with King William III is this proof of claim in these title deeds. That's a deed title. Deed receipt. Deed receipt. Okay? Deed receipt. Now these chiefs, Bandi Waitai, Hiruini Karaka, Manahi, Parapara Mohini, and myself, Hwani Kahiwano, signed this deed for Refere for Manukau as real. Truth, title to this whole country. That's it there. Don't argue because you'll lose in the court. Morris Lobaker, Lobo, descendant of Paramount Chief Hori Tikuri and son Heramaya Tikuri in Tahikimarai Native Magistrate Court. Hori was British land agent stationed in Rawani Native Court. And that's the end of it. That is the end of it. I've got it here on the. Um, I've got it here in. Oh, I thought I had it in PDF. I did have it in PDF. I'll see if I can find it. But I'm going to show you. The Pohara Marae photos now. I'm going to show you all the photos here of Tirawakato Whareherehere Manukau's Marae, Punga Punga Marae in Arapuni. Come on, I was waiting for this to come up. I, I, I want to show you this. Uh, I've got too many things on. on, on on the computer, slow and slows it down. I'll get there. Oh, this was the other one here. I'm trying to open that one. Well, here's, we'll go here first. Here's, here's Peter Mihinui's house here. Look, this is the house I stayed in. It was next to the rock and Tainui, Iwi Maori, Crown, dumped it here. I'm going to dump it right back where it belongs, on the site next to the rock. I'm putting that house right where Peter Mahinui put it because that's his authority with the title to this country in this land here, not the Iwi Maori Runanga. They are the crooked sods of bitches. They'll have to take me to court where they will lose. I'm having our own online trial by media in front of you people. This house is built next to this rock right there, you'll see in a minute, but there's the rock spirit of Punga Punga, Hapu, Moriori people of this country, the First Nations people of this country, just about all got decimated except this family and the Parapara and the Manakaos and the Mihinuis. Okay, there's the rock there. This is the rock memorial people in the world watching what I'm doing here to Britain. The British recognise this and Maungatauteri Mountain, that's the base of the mountain here, and as the title to New Zealand, the native, indigenous, First Nations title to New Zealand, documented on the record of courts that made all the money in the world, went to the wrong people. The Queen usurped the whole lot of this title and put Te Waikato as a woman. And that's the offence. You people will have to challenge me. You'll have to, you haven't challenged me yet. You haven't refuted what I'm saying is the truth. Nothing but the truth, so help me God. If you don't, I can hang you by the King's pirate laws. You are pirating our titles. And there's a close-up. Peter's house was here, around about here. Right here, at the base of that mountain. And the road was on this side, not on the other side, not on the back side of it. He was next, hard up against the rock. Leaves the house there, at the back. There's no one's living in it because it's all shabby and broken, and but the timbers are good. Um, I've been right through it. I've made another video on it. There's a nice, beautiful picture 
of the mountain, and Peter's house was right here, right here, right where I'm pointing, right here. It's going back there. I'm putting it right back where he put it. He put it there for a reason, to claim that Mauna, Tautari mountain, and this rock memorial. We talked about it a lot. And there's the rock there from this angle. You can see that the, the clouds in the sky, these are normal clouds, not those chemtrails. The white Pahia thugs are making to poison people in the world. These are real clouds, people. That's what they should be looking like. That's a nice picture of the sun here. And sitting, or rather, uh, that would have been late in the afternoon. That's in the west. That's to the west. And that's what it looks. Beautiful picture of the rock in the background here and the sun setting in the west. So I'm, I'm staking the claim here as the executor of Te Rewaikato Wharehere in Manukau and Peter Mihinui. And he's titled to this memorial. And his house is going right back there. Right there. They put a fence and fence it all off. Well, sorry, but you're not the boss. There's beautiful pictures of it. Anyway, that's those pictures. And I put the uh, document in PDF. Oh, here it is on Facebook. I, I put these videos there on Facebook today. And um, just these pictures here to go with. I'll just try and get it up there again. Waitangi Day, 6 February 2018, fact cited evidence, New Zealand's First Nations Native Land Title Memorial is this solid rock title. And uh, that's the film I made there. You'll see a few films made. And that's at home when I called in from that hill. I called into Auckland and did a stint on it. Tainui Iwi Maori Crown Government Pirates shifted. My father-in-law, Peter Mihui's home stood off its site next to his Moriori Manukau Waikato Paramount Chief's Punga Punga Marae Spiritual Memorial Rock title to his native land. I am his executive to put it right back where it belongs with a bounty on their pirate heads. And it ain't going to stop me doing that. So I put those photos there on Facebook. To make it public notice, you're getting to see these videos first before the government gets it tomorrow. And the lawyer gets it tomorrow. You're the first to get it. Okay? So there's those photos I've put on Facebook in front of the whole world watching. Okay? That's that. And who was trying to get a hold of Brian August? Oh, yeah, Daryl Payne, what's it? Thank you, great work. Picked up at you are now connected by a messenger. Video ended. Okay. Okay, that's fine. And um, Jamie, Patrick, like a link. You shared Peter Minnelli house was shifted off. Like your comment, I think we will have a BN Sky Tower. Oh, yeah. Jamie, I've been saying that for a long time to her, so I better make sure I do take her there to have a beer to celebrate. I tell you, day 6 February 5th, so she's gone here to have a look at this. So you see, the people are starting to wake up that you've been duped in this country, right in front of the world. This, this Maori government, Iwi authority, is crooked. Hang on. I'll turn the camera around shortly and finish off this video, but I, uh, it's running out already. I can see the battery's going flat. So that's all I want to show there, apart from the um, document. Uh, this is my main document, this one here. Oh, it's not opening. That's supposed to open out into a PDF file. It's not opening. It does open out. Uh, I'm clashing with uh, Google and YouTube and um, Explorer. They're fighting each other. Um, 
this computer. They don't agree with each other. So I'll let that open itself up while I turn the camera on me and finish off. So people, once again, I'm just giving this notice to Jacinda Ardern, the Prime Minister of New Zealand, and Deputy Prime Minister Winston Peters. And now you see that on the news tonight you're saying openly that China is a potential threat against what you are doing in this country to save yourselves with somebody's authority. And you haven't got no authority from Britain. You only got authority by yourselves without a queen. She's coming here to rescue you thugs because she's a thug. I'm calling you people thugs and pirates on the high seas. You have to deny this, Winston Peters. You have to deny what I'm saying, Jacinda Ardern, Chris Finlayson. You're the rat. You're the skunk rat of this country with your treaty claims and your fraud, whakapapa, Nazi Fatua, bodgy tribe that you invented. You Pākehā white thieves, vagabonds, created that tribe, same as ISIS in America, Donald Trump's tribe, against all the people of America. This is what you did here, you bastards. You put Nazi Fatua together as a Pākehā white man's tribe against the original tribes, Hapu. Sanito, all you bastards, Tuku Morgan, Tohinare, all you thieves, white Maoris, get the bill. You're going to get the bill from me, an original native, straight up and down with the titles to this country that you only have occupation titles to from Britain. You have only leased lands and they can be terminated. I'm going to terminate them with the paramount chiefs we have, with private contract as commercial landowners. You have no titles to even speak in a TPPA contract. I'll take it over. I'll take that contract off you and run it myself with those countries, minus your pirate iwi whakapapa of Tira Waikato as a woman. You're caught. I've caught you. I'm waiting for the public to respond what to do with you. What am I going to do with you? And the people in Britain, Canada, Australia and America and Britain are waiting to see what am I going to do with you. You know I can hang you with the King's Axe because this flag here is still live with me in it. With all the titles I've just showed you, they are real. You have to review it, challenge it, deny it, but make a video on YouTube. The only way is your lips moving in front of my lips to deny what I'm saying. If you don't, that's the law. It's going to be apostolized, legalized, authenticated and authorized to go to Britain to take this country back and all the other indigenous native countries back. You get to see it first before my lawyer so it won't get stuck in all the thuggery courts here and the police covering it up. You've got a bounty on your head, 970 million trillion trillion pound note. Just said, I'll do and I'm not joking either. Unless you've got a title in front of the titles I've just said to you online in trial by media. My word against yours. I am my own competing witness. That means I don't need lawyers. And the lawyer I've got doesn't know all of this. I have to pay him to give him all my intelligence that he doesn't know so he can put his seal on it on top of a king's seal. He hasn't got no queen's seal, nothing. He's only got a seal of his government that has no seal from Britain. I've got the seal from Britain, the king that made the laws that got your ass on this fucking place, you useless bastards. 
I can swear as much as I like on these videos because there's nothing you can do about it. You can't even sue me, you can't do nothing because you have no legal authority over me. Don't try it because the CIB here lost against me and the courts 